Hey, before we get into this episode, have you seen that my new book is out? It's called Stop Selling and Help Them Buy Weddings and Events. And it's a book that you helped me write because you would ask me at a conference, which of your books has what you just spoke about on stage? And if it wasn't in any of my books, I'd say it's in the next one. Well, here it is. Here's the next one. Uh, how to respond to reviews. What if you don't like doing sales? The three questions to ask every prospect, or they can't ask for what they don't know exists. These are just some of the chapters in there. And the beauty is you don't have to read it front to back. You can jump around to any chapter, kind of like my other book, Wit Wisdom in the Business of Weddings, where you can jump to any chapter because they're not necessarily connected to one another. And if you want to get free shipping on a paperback copy, go to shopallenberg.com and use the coupon code podcast. That's shopallenberg.com. Use the coupon code podcast, get free shipping on me. Otherwise it's on Audible, it's on uh, uh, Kindle. And if you go to podcast allenberg.com. The links are all there as well. Thanks. Should we care about the color of the year? <laughs> Listen to this episode. Let's see where I'm going with this. Welcome to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Alan Berg. I'm a speaker, author, sales trainer, website reviewer, and I help businesses like yours sell more, profit more, and have more fun doing it. Enjoy this episode. Hi, it's Alan Berg. Welcome back to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. I just saw the big announcement that the color of the year for 2024 is peach fuzz. <laughs> Yes, it's actually peach fuzz. And according to the people at Pantone, who choose the color of the year, in seeking a hue that echoes our innate yearning for closeness and connection, we chose a color radiant with warmth and modern elegance, a shade that resonates with compassion, offers a tactile embrace, and effortlessly bridges the youthful with the timeless. And that's what Leatrice Eisman, ex executive director of Pantone Color Institute, said. Great. It's peach fuzz. It's RNG, pinky, whatever peach fud is. So should we care what the color of the year is? And the answer is some of you should absolutely care what the color of the year is because you're going to have a large percentage of your couples that are choosing the color of the year. Personally, I don't care. I like to know what it is. So if somebody says peach fuzz, I go, oh, the Pantone color of the year, I can say that. But reality is it's going to change next year. It was a different color in 2023 and 2022, and it's going to be a different color in 2025. And the sales skills you need to sell that are going to be the same. They're not going to change because the color of the year changes. Your language might change. The decor in your office might change. Some of the photos you put out there might change. You will have to learn to like that color, whether you do or not, if you're in the color business. And that means if you're in flowers, if you're in dresses, if you're in uh, linens, if you're in uh, lighting, right? All, all these different things that are going to involve the color, invitations even, <clears throat> the color of the year, it's peach fuzz. The skills you need in your business, those skills are different and they're not dependent upon color. They're not dependent upon so many other things like the, the, the number one first dance song and all things like that. The, the business skills are not dependent upon those. Those things are going to flex. Those things are going to change, but the business skills are going to be consistent. So different businesses are going to care. Some people, again, I think should everybody in the industry know what it is? So if somebody happens to mention or says, hey, anybody know what the color of the year is? You can be the, you know, the big sport. You can say, hey, it's peach fuzz here. But the reality is I don't care from a business standpoint. Curiosity? Yeah, maybe. You know, why peach fuzz and what is it? And I love that description that they said about the color. It's kind of like when you read descriptions of a, of a wine or something like that. You know, my son likes to make fun of it and say, you know, it tastes like pencil, burnt pencil shavings on the east side of a burning building or whatever. You know, they come up with these crazy descriptions of what it is. You know, it's pinky orange. You know, that's what it is. Or maybe that's Carl is pinky orange. I don't know. I looked at the color, kind of looks like Carl to me. So what should you care about? What you care about is, again, if color matters to your business, you need to know what that is because that's just one of the things that's important in keeping up with the trends and things like that. But the consistent things in your business about advertising, about marketing, about a customer experience, about conversion, about getting ghosted less, all those things, they're all consistent. So do I care what the color of the year is? I care to know. Is it going to change anything for me in my business? Absolutely not. Is it going to change anything in yours? Yeah, it might change some of your inventory and stuff like that. But the sales skills you need 
to sell someone who's going to choose to have peach fuzz as the main color for their wedding, that's not going to change. That you need to still work on. Let me know how I can help you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel and post a review on your chosen platform, Apple Podcasts or whichever one. If you have any questions about anything in this episode or any of my episodes, email me directly at alan at weddingbusinesssolutions.com or visit my website, allenberg.com, A-L-A-N-B-E-R-G.com. If you have any suggestions for future topics or guests that you'd like to see, please again, email me or visit my website. Thanks for listening.